How's everyone doing today? I'm your host XTR and today I want to welcome you back to another Pro Guides video. Valorant Ranked has dropped recently and we're excited to see how everyone performs and to keep bringing you the content to help you improve in the game and climb these ranks. Our question of the day is what rank are you currently grinding through in Valorant and where did you get placed? Personally, I'm in Diamond and I got placed in Silver, but I'm hoping to climb to Immortal here soon. We'd love to hear about your ranked adventures in the comments below. When we talk about the Valorant Agents, they might not all be in the current meta, yet they can still be powerful if played correctly. We here at Pro Guides aim to bring you some strategic ways of using Raze to help you play her properly. Now note that Raze may not be the best character in terms of high level play, but she can still be used very effectively when played right. Raze is a high DPS character with utility that can be very useful, so let's jump in and find out exactly what makes her so strong. But before we do, we wanted to let you know that we have officially launched coaching at ProGuides.com, so if you want to get ahead of the curve and play with the best in the game, click on the first link in the description. Alright, let's talk about Raze's signature ability, Paint Shells. Paint shells do a massive amount of damage and upon explosion burst into multiple smaller grenades. Raze's grenades take a total of 3 seconds to detonate and all 5 of the grenades have the potential to do 55 damage per can. That's 275 damage total. So make sure you try and avoid getting hit by these grenades at all costs. You can only use it once per round unless you get 2 kills, in which case you will receive another one. You can throw it in 2 ways. Left click to throw it like a baseball or right click to toss it at a shorter distance. These can be very useful to secure kills or do some early on chip damage. Just be aware, if you decide to throw this at the start of the round to do some chip damage, if the enemy team is running a Sage, they can very easily just heal them. Make sure you are being smart with the way you throw these grenades, and if you know there are players clumped up in one spot, this is one of the best times you can actually use them. You don't want to waste these, as they can be very impactful when used correctly. Keep in mind, they can damage your teammates pretty significantly, so try not to embarrass yourself by killing your teammate. These grenades can also detonate mid-air, so if you throw them with a longer route, they could explode much faster, giving the enemy players much less time to react to the initial blast. Another note about this, Raze's smaller grenades do not detonate until they hit the ground, so if the smaller grenades are in the air, they will detonate and rain down terror from above. Retaking any particular bomb site can become much easier with Raze's paint shells. If there is a common angle that people play, such as back of sight on B site split, you can throw a grenade and force the enemy players to relocate quickly, and in some situations, throwing the grenade can force the enemy out, resulting in a free frag for your team. Using these grenades in general can just be useful in many situations. Retakes, throwing in populated chokes, picking off an enemy that you know is behind cover, paint shells are just very versatile and should be used as such. Let me restate you don't want to waste these, but you should make sure you are using them every round. Don't hold your grenades waiting for the absolute perfect moment. If you can gain an advantage by throwing them, in a lot of instances, it may be worth it. You cannot see 30 seconds ahead in the round. You never know how long you'll make it into the round, or if you will get two more kills to get another grenade. Moving on, we have our next ability, a fairly simple but very useful ability called Blast Pack. Raze's Blast Pack is very fun to use, and an extremely versatile ability in Valorant. This ability costs 100 credits and you can purchase 2 charges per round. With the perfect detonation, these will deal 75 damage towards the enemy players. These will also damage and boop your teammates, so warn them before you decide to throw one down. They last for 5 seconds on the ground before detonation and can be shot by opposing players. These are extremely useful in boosting yourself up onto boxes or to propel yourself forward towards cover. It can also be useful to note that the timer for detonation starts immediately after you throw the blast pack, not once it hits the ground. If they are shot by an enemy player, they will just disappear as opposed to exploding. You can throw one of these to bait an enemy into shooting it if you believe there is somebody at the doorway, or stall for time as you reposition. Getting to higher elevation areas is extremely useful with the blast packs, as they won't damage you, and they won't damage your teammates pre-round. So you can get some pretty nasty defender side setups and positions. Blast packs can also be very useful to clear an enemy out of a close up corner if you know they are hiding in it or if you know they are on low health. You can detonate these blast packs almost immediately after throwing which is crucial for long range engagements. This means you can use both in quick succession to move quickly throughout the map or to get to very high positions. Combining the blast packs with your showstopper can be very devastating as you can quickly peek over a barrier or wall and get a solid ultimate use out. Intel is another thing that blast packs bring to the table, aside from just baiting out an opponent to shoot your blast packs, you can also launch yourself to see over a barrier, thus gaining you intel on where the enemy team may be currently pushing into. Next up we have Boomba, also known as the Roomba of Death. This ability is insanely powerful when used in correct situations. Sure, it may be cute, but it can be a serious problem for the enemy team in a lot of situations. 
If a Boomba happens to find an enemy player, it has the potential to deal up to 125 damage. Your best Roomba friend has 100 health, so he's not the strongest character in the game, but Boomba lasts for 10 seconds. He's extremely loud and goes infinitely in one direction and changes direction every time it bumps into a wall. Be cautious when throwing this little guy, as it will tell the enemies exactly where you are, so if you don't want your position revealed, refrain from throwing it. The Boombot is very good at scoping out areas, so you don't have to. Keep in mind, some players will refrain from shooting it unless it starts coming right at them. A good tip would be to throw it through a smoke. If you hear the enemy player on the other side, this can surprise them and even lead to a kill on numerous occasions. Boomba can also be a very good distraction. If you hear an enemy, you can drop the little fella down, and once they start shooting, you can swing for a free kill. Just be aware if there are multiple enemies swinging like this would most likely be the wrong decision. Boomba also has a pretty wide cone of vision, so this makes it fairly easy to spot enemies with them if you get the angle right. In a lot of instances, it is more useful to angle Boomba in a specific path so he clears out areas completely, as opposed to clearing out a much larger portion. Enemies can easily stand out of the way of Boomba if you decide to give him too wide of a range to actually cover. When Boomba spots an enemy, it will rush forward at an alarming rate, and if it reaches the enemy and ends up exploding, they will lose a large portion of their health or die. Speaking of explosions, that brings us to our final ability in this video, Showstopper. Showstopper, Raze's ultimate ability, is a high damaging, fast moving projectile that kills almost immediately if close enough to a player. It generally does 20 to upwards of 200 damage, but if you land it right next to them, it's basically always a guaranteed kill. Elevation can obstruct it, so be aware of that. If you hit a set of stairs and the enemy is on top of the stairway, they will take considerably less damage from the rocket. Showstopper's timer activates the second you activate the ability, so keep an eye on the timer. Be aware that this ability along with paint cans can also hurt you and your teammates. Showstopper is a fast moving projectile based ability that will go infinitely in one direction and will not drop or go up. Wherever you aim is where it will shoot. You can propel yourself backwards with this ability, so if you use it under cover, you can propel yourself back behind cover after using said ability. It does pretty heavy splash damage, so if you aren't certain you'll hit them, it's best to shoot at a nearby floor or wall as to maximize the effect. If you look for a perfect opportunity after activating the ability, it could lead you to running out of time and missing your window of slight opportunity, so make sure you have a good target when you activate your ultimate. You can switch weapons while the showstopper is activated without losing the ability, just be careful because the timer is not infinite. Switching to a weapon and switching back is fairly slow, but switching to an ability and back is fairly fast in comparison. A pretty awesome tip with Showstopper is that you can activate it, prompting enemies to realize what you're about to do, and then pull out your weapon to catch them off guard. Better players will generally recognize the drop time on the ultimate, so they may happen to peek out if they know exactly where you are, expecting to catch you off guard. Just know that this may not always work and know that you are risking losing your opportunity to actually get a kill with the ultimate. Most of you already know this, but using your blast packs in cohesion with Showstopper is very strong. You can propel yourself forward and surprise enemies pretty easily at an insane speed. The damage with this ability is fairly inconsistent, as sometimes you can hit them directly and it does little to no damage. It can be pretty annoying at times, but is still an insanely good ability and you want to make sure you don't waste it unnecessarily. For instance, using Showstopper in a 4 vs 1 situation may not be the best use of an ultimate. Instead, keep it for a round where you are in desperate need of a kill to help stabilize the round in your favor, or to potentially damage or kill a large group of players. Raze is a very damage oriented agent, so it may not always be best to use her in ranked if you are lacking defensive characters, but she can still be utilized in a ton of team compositions. You want to make sure you are timing all your abilities correctly, because wasting them at the start of the round with no rhyme or reason is pointless. You want to make sure that your damage, which is the main part of your kit, is actually sticking and not being healed or negated. Keep track of where your teammates are, and avoid throwing your utility anywhere that your team is at. Raze can be an extremely mobile agent with the use of her blast packs, so treat her as such. Using your abilities can also be very impactful on save rounds, so you could potentially pick up kills to help you secure a save round win. I hope you guys enjoyed this in-depth raise guide. We here at Pro Guys are always aiming to improve our content as the game goes on so we can keep bringing you the best possible content for your benefit. Make sure to leave a like and comment any video ideas you have. Stay indoors and stay safe. We wanted to let you know that we have officially launched coaching at ProGuides.com. So if you want to get ahead of the curve and play with the best in the game, click on the first link in the description.
Yeah.